Hey guys, this is uh, GPD Handout here, and another day, there's, uh, we have another test for GPD XT Plus. And in today's test, I will be testing uh, one thing that uh, very often I get a request from uh, my viewers is a uh, N64 emulations. So in this case, uh, the emulator that we will use today is uh, the Mupen 64 Plus. Uh, just for information, this is uh, one of the better emulator for uh, 64 and 64 currently available. Since uh, and uh, the, the the developer of this emulator is actually very uh, passionate, and uh, they update, they often update the emulator uh, from time to time. So sometimes uh, in one week, I can get a uh, one to two updates for this emulator. And uh, since this emulator is available for free totally free for on Android uh, Google Play Store so I highly suggest anyone looking into uh, getting N64 emulations uh, to get this uh, emulator there is a uh, Mopan 64 plus uh, I also in this uh, video I want to say thanks to the developer for this uh, emulator for this amazing emulator that uh, we can use on uh, Android not only we can use on a uh, GPT XT Plus, but we can also use use it on a uh, GPT XT and our phones as well. So without further ado, let's go into the game. So in today's uh, test, I will be working. I will showing guys you guys are uh, the settings that I use. So at first, we are going to look at a library. Not not library. Uh, we are going to look at a profile. So I will just uh, show you which uh, profile that I currently using. Uh, the profile for the display that I'm using is uh, actually is called Glide N64 Fast. Uh, from the description of the video, uh, from the description of this plugin, it says that uh, Glide 64 video with uh, recommended settings for low end devices and support for high res texture packs. Since I I kind of consider the Win 2 as a uh, low end devices, so I will just uh, use a uh, emulation profile that is the best for for this type of devices so if you guys cannot see it very clear I will just try to focus it right now so we can see uh, and glide N64 fast is selected and a uh, touchscreen profile is uh, analog touchscreen the d-pad is uh, everything and these are the controller profiles that I use and for uh, the display itself, I will just uh, use a uh, two times the uh, render resolution for N64. That is a uh, 640 times uh, 480. That is a uh, twice the resolution of a uh, N64 system itself. So we get a slightly better resolution, and uh, we get a double the resolution. And zoom is 100%. Screen scaling is uh, original. Screen orientation is a uh, landscape. Immersive mode is on. Action bar opacity is uh, eighty percent. I will just uh, choose to uh, show the frame rate on uh, on the top left and uh, fix upside down screen. I don't have this problem, so it is uh, not used. And uh, flicker reduction is a uh, is a uh, set as a default. That is a uh, auto detect from phone or tablet model. I believe uh, it does a job well uh, without me uh, changing any settings. So we are going to the game right away. Yes. So we are going to uh, to set a resume, and we got the touch uh, base screen. So in order for the game to show you guys, uh, please uh, take a look at the frame rate counter on the top. So this game is actually uh, produced by Rare. is uh, one of my favorite platformer from the N64 era. The game is called uh, Banjo Kazooie. It is a uh, very cute and uh, very interesting uh, platformer games uh, on available on the uh, N64 and uh, the ability for us to play it on a, in a portable way is a uh, is actually a plus for us to be honest. So and we are currently running at a uh, twice the resolution of the uh, original N64 that is a uh, 640 times uh, 480 and we can achieve a. Uh, lock uh, 30 frames per second so this is actually a good news for those uh, looking forward for N64 emulation it proves that um, N64 emulation uh, does work well with uh, GPT XT Plus and we will go back to our home yeah very very beautiful uh, design uh, quite cute 
it have a, a portrait of a banjo and a he's a he's a pet and we also have a, the the portrait of a, this guy this is also a bear I think he's a, one of the relatives of a banjo and we have a nice portrait here and you can notice uh, the attention to detail in this game the cloth actually moves uh, in this game so Rare is really uh, putting a lot of uh, efforts and detail into this game we also see the photograph of um, Banjo's uh, sister that has been kidnapped and uh, you can see when uh, the clock we can have the there's a parrot coming out here it is a very into a very detailed game so and the game is uh, running very smooth at a uh, twice the resolution so let's try uh, going outside and uh, I will just show you a quick uh, round before I end this uh, short test for the Benjo Kazui N64 running a uh, very smooth and uh, without any frame rate uh, drops so for those guys who is actually looking for uh, for it to N64 emulation this is a uh, good news for you guys and uh, it proves to be a uh, very good uh, machines for emulations especially when compared to uh, the original Jupiter XT and uh, competition such as a uh, it's not competition is a uh, similar devices uh, such as a uh, PlayStation Vita. Of course, uh, your phone with a Snapdragon chips will perform uh, better. But uh, you with uh, the XT Plus, you also get uh, the you also get the extra in in the sense of uh, it has a very high quality uh, buttons that is a uh, with a uh, very low input lag. So this is a very fun game and. Uh, with that, I will end my uh, quick test video and that's all for this video. Uh, have fun and uh, enjoy your day. Just uh, a final moment, uh, show you guys that I'm actually uh, playing and controlling using uh, the Win the Jupiter XT Plus device. It's a very, very good uh, system for emulation. Thanks and enjoy. I'll try to kill this one. Yeah, alright. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.